This non-Muslim sister, she does not want to disclose her identity. Welcome. You, without disclosing her identity, she can ask a question. She is a student of MBA. She asks, why is Allah referred to Allah? Why not any other name? The sister has a question that why is Allah referred to as Allah and why not other names? The reply is given in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 110, where it's mentioned in the Quran. Say, call upon him by Allah or call upon him by Rahman. By whichever name you call upon him, to him belong the most beautiful names. You can call Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by any name, but it should be a pure name. It should be a correct name. It should be a name given by himself. And there are no less than 99 attributes given in the glory of Quran and the Sahih Hadith. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Kareem, Al-Hakim, most merciful, most compassionate, most wise, no less than 99. And the crowning one is Allah. And this message that to Allah belongs the most beautiful names, besides Surah Isra chapter 17 verse number 110, it's also repeated in Surah Taha chapter number 20 verse number 8, and Surah Araf chapter number 7 verse number 180, and Surah Al-Hashar chapter 59 verse number 24 where Allah says that to Him belong the most beautiful name. But the crowning name is Allah. Now, why do we Muslims prefer calling Allah by the Arabic word Allah instead of the English word God? The reason is, sister, all the other names and words, they can be played around with. For example, the English word God, if you add S to God, it becomes God's. Plural of God. There's nothing like plural Allah. Kul hu Allahu ahad. Say he's Allah one and only. If you add D-E-S-S to God, it becomes goddess, a female god. In Islam, there's nothing like male Allah or female Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got no gender. If you add father to God, it becomes godfather. He's my godfather. He's my guardian. There's nothing like Allah Abba or Allah father in Islam. If you add a mother to God, it becomes godmother. There's nothing like Allah mother or Allah Ami in Islam. If you prefix tin before God, it becomes tin God, meaning a fake God. There's nothing like tin Allah in Islam. That's the reason we Muslims, we prefer calling Allah by the Arabic word Allah. And that's the reason this word Allah is also present in most of the major religious scriptures. If you read the six scriptures, one of the attributes given to Almighty God is Allah. If you read the Christian Bible, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 15, verse 34, in the Gospel of Matthew, Chapter number 27, verse number 46. When Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when he was put on the cross, he cried out, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. Oh God, oh God, why hast thou forsaken me? Does Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani sound like, oh God, oh God, why hast thou forsaken me? No. But if you translate into Arabic, it says, Allah, Allah, lama sabachthani. Similar. So Hebrew and Arabic, they are sister languages. And if you read the Scofield Dictionary, it pronounces Allah also, Eli also as Allah, A-L-A-H. Same. So Allah is even mentioned in the Bible. Even in the Hindu scriptures, it's mentioned in the Vedas. There's a separate Upanishad by the name of Allah Upanishad. So this word Allah is also mentioned by name in the major world religious scriptures. This is the proper name of the true Almighty God. Hope that answers the question.